Anyway, we are at this lovely location. Good morning, Killer Bee Nation. Ah, here we are again. Tombstone. Oh, wow. You know, it's a cute damn little house, isn't it? Yeah, we're getting ready to remodel it. It's, it's really a cutie. You can see we've already taken some of the piping and stuff off that he didn't want, but right. we can't go any further until we get rid of these. No, 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 no. The bees go first. We don't, we don't want them coming and bothering us. The bees go first. All right. Long and winding road here. So... Oh, here we go. They're in here somewhere. Yeah, they are. Outside. We're going to go outside now and look and see what the hell Mike's got going on here. That's how we do it. Well, not yet. They're in having coffee. Oh, yeah. It's so still, it's still, still. Oh, yeah, I see it. Yep, 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 yep. There is the hole. So, this is where we seal up to begin with so they can't come out and torture everyone. And then, so we're going to do expanding foam up there. Okay. And then we're going to go inside, lock ourselves in, and go to war. That's what I figured. So it will be, uh, it's always exciting to say the absolute least. But yeah, see, we don't want them coming out here and just torturing it because they will go all the way to that house over there. And bother that. Oh, yeah. Like, oh, what yeah. are you doing at that house? We're going to come Yeah, we're going <laughs> to, like I told you, they've chased that truck for four miles. Oh my God! Yeah, after a battle out past the slaughter ranch. Yeah, yeah. At a, a ranch pass there. Yeah. And they were so they chased the truck for four miles after battery removal. Wow. It was astounding, Mike. It was just ridiculous. So, anyway, all right. Well, we got the crew here, and uh, we're gonna go and get on our uh, attire, shall well, we say? Well, you guys have fun. Oh, yep. Yeah, that's yep. what it is. That's See, it. Have fun. <laughs> yeah, bye. I can't because I can't come in. So just call me when you're done. Okay, we'll do. And I'll come over and yeah, uh, we'll set it all up and all that shit. Write your check yep. and, and we'll be done. Yeah, I'll give you your guarantee and all that good shit. Yeah. And, that, and that is transferable to whoever buys it. Yeah. Very good. All right. Very good. Well, we're going to get everything going. So uh, well, have, I will call you like in a I while. Said, have fun. It sounds like a lot have of fun. fun. <laughs> well, if it ain't fun, I'm probably not going to do it. <laughs> exactly. And it's a hell of a lot more fun in a bee suit. <laughs> all right, buddy. Well, we'll talk to you in a minute. Take care. See you guys in a while. Okay. And the gang's <laughs> all here. Here we are. In Tombstone, beautiful Tombstone, Arizona, and it is a beautiful morning, absolutely spectacular, and we have no idea what we're getting into as usual. So, come on, let's go check it out. Okay, well, that's where they were coming and going. How about up on the roof? You know None. Okay, well, let's go ahead and seal that up and then we'll go inside. Uh, all right, well, we sealed up the front door outside, didn't see any activity, but it is cool. So now we're going to go in here and drill a couple of exploratories. What do you think? What do you think? Um, wall? Yeah, I'm thinking ceiling. Yeah, it's me sagging. too. Yeah, me too. Can I get that ladder, please? Uh, and also, could you do a little experimental and just see if the electricity's on in here? Oh man. Just wood straight behind behind it, huh? Well, insulation. Huh. So they're in the parapet. They got chased out of this room or out from back? Yeah, back room back. Uh, no. No, no bees here, we'd see them on the sill. got a roofer coming so I called the guy and uh, told him we have to try to access it from here now parapets are a pain in the butt stucco is a pain in the butt so these are usually hollow and it's all cracked up not cracked up to what it used to be so we're gonna pound a couple of holes in this to see if we can find access to the hive and uh, that's about all we can really do at this point. The uh, contractor said he's got a roofer coming, so do what you need to do. Yay. So I would gonna... have the roofer redesign this into a patio rooftop. Oh, no shit. Wouldn't that be nice? With those dragoon views right behind you. Boy, the views suck around here, don't they? Yeah, they're horrible. Yeah, I know. I just hate it. Oh, you're looking at the mountains. I was... <laughs> that was about me. He's silly. You know that they shot a lot of John Wayne movies back there? In the dragons? Yep. 
The real, the real wild west. There he comes to save the day. They're not aggressive yet, are they? No, not at all. That's too cold. Well, that's calm. I mean, we're in it. But now, we, you know what I'm going to have you do, Daniel? Yes, sir. You see it's comb right here. Yeah. Uh, we can knock this area out with a hammer. Then we can gain access and dig them all out of there. But I'm going to let you do that manly shit. <laughs> on the rooftop with killer bees. They're not really pissed off. No, it's cold and also it's a late winter, early spring time. And so they're probably hungry, although they're in town, so they do have people's gardens and whatnot. And there's flowers that bloom all year round pretty much here. People's gardens, not wildflowers. Wildflowers are not. So who knows? We'll see the extent of it. I mean, it's uh, back to five, obviously. We have bees. Guys, come behind me. Gotta work. Oh, I see some honey. Do you? The hammer hit him, Uh-oh. And da 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 There it is. Look at that weirdness, huh? Look at that. So we have an active late winter, early spring hive. That's all there is to it. What's that? Pretty, huh? The paper. Look at there's a little bit of uh, honey here. A little tiny amount. Yeah, a tiny bit dripping down right over yeah. the sea. Well, there's some back here. Look at this is all honey. Oh yeah, that's a fresh sheet too. Yeah, it's a fresh sheet. We got honey. Honey snacks. We got honey snacks. What do you want for brunch? We're putting the bee back in brunch. Um, putty knife, right? And the bucket. You want to get in there? Wow, that's a extensive. That's, that's, it's old too. You can see how, how dark. Dark it is. All right, let's see if we can get out of here. Uh, you know what I think we should do? Get the sawzall and cut this board. Yep. It's all bigger. Oh, look at all this. It's all drone. That's home. all drone. So they're ready to go into. Wow. Ready That's honey. We get, we'll get some, some honey out of it. So, what are the advantages of removing your hive this time of year? Well, the advantages are mainly for us. <laughs> it's safer um, because it's the bees have not gone into high uh, laying babies production mode yet. Low populations. Low population because they reduce their numbers in the hive for winter. So there's less mouths to feed. Well, I'm gonna have to cut that up. But look at this is a big old sheet here, huh? 
Oh, I got honey. Careful. Oops. You got, you I don't got want them to fall down. So what if somebody <laughs> argues... Oh, guess what? We have bees. Yeah. Huh? What if somebody argues that, Look well, that they're door. not mean, why are you removing them? Because they built a door. Well, just because they're not mean right now, there's been studies that have shown that uh, the number of guard bees in an Africanized hive is, can uh, directly correlate to how aggressive that hive is. The higher the number of guard bees, the more likely they are to trigger and release that whole attack pheromone where the whole colony goes, which is a little bit different than other, other uh, breeds of bee. I mean, Africanized bees send uh, all of their guards out, everybody. Uh, yep. It takes a minute for, it, it takes a lot of disruption it, uh, and oftentimes you can't get them to do it at all with European bees is to get them to be that get aggressive. Get them pissed off. Mm -hmm. I mean, you could really ravage or be rough with most European hives and, and they don't trigger. These guys, it's just, you never know when the population's gonna be the right number for them to just be all of a sudden. It's like a mob mentality, you know, all of a sudden. Yep. You know, like, like what when, it is. when enough exactly. thugs get, get yep. together, they, they decide like to. Mob mentality. They decide to go haywire. We got see, we got comb. That's nice. Mayhem. Honey. Nice. That's beautiful tombstone honey. <laughs> That's pretty good. The honey, too oh, sweet to eat. Look at that. Look at that. I got to keep this up here. <laughs> it makes it way easier to clean it later. Yeah, oh, yeah, brush them out now. We clean them. The more we can clean them in the field. Look at this nice piece here. Oh, shit. See if I can get it out of there without ruining too much. Oh, come on, baby. See, maybe. There we go. Look at that. There's a little bit of pollen. I don't know where they pollen last year's. Yeah, it's dry. It's dry. It's a dry. Oh, look at this chunk. Look at that. What is that? Eight pounds? Yeah. Nice, huh? So the advantages to doing bees this time of year are huge for us because they're just not as aggressive in theory. We've seen plenty of winter <laughs> yeah. ones that, that will just kick your ass for even showing up. But uh, so we're not. And but the disadvantage for us is one tenth of the honey or less. So we do like to do. We'd rather take on the mean ones in the fall and get all the honey, hundreds of pounds. But it just doesn't always happen that way. It's like when they need to be removed, they need to be removed. Sweet, we did it. I mean, that was a nice little Saturday morning, huh? Yes. Why not? Eh, do this every Saturday morning. Oh, soon enough we will, that's for sure. So, short and sweet. Uh, we got all the comb out. Obviously not a big disaster, but just because they're not mean right now does not mean they're not genetically Africanized. They are genetically Africanized. You cannot risk it. We cannot risk any of them anymore. And so, everyone try to beehive yourselves. And uh, go to killerbeeguy.com. All right? You're zippered up good. Okay. I'm gonna go rinse off. Okay. okay.